hands asleep. Are you ready for some good news? I'm not whispering through the whole thing. She's probably going to sleep through it anyway. So first up, researchers have created an incredible new material using liquid metal. Researchers at RMIT University's School of Engineering in Melbourne, Australia, have found a way to create oxide layers only a few atoms thick by first dissolving metals in a core of liquid gallium. When the gallium is rolled across a solid surface, it leaves behind a thin film of the added metal, like a slug laying down a trail of mucus. The oxide layer can then be peeled up and put to use. This could turn out to be a very important innovation. Oxide layers are used in a wide variety of applications in the field of electronics. They're used as semiconductors, they're key components of touch screens, and the thinner they are, the faster and more energy efficient the devices incorporating them will be. The RMIT researchers believe this same method could be used to create thin layers of other materials, meaning it could affect not only the way we construct electronics, but the way we do chemistry as well. The paper on this technique for creating atomically thin metal oxides is published in the journal Science. Next up, scientists have isolated a gene responsible for a debilitating and deadly lung disease. That disease is idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, or IPF. Thousands are diagnosed with it every year. Typical life expectancy following diagnosis is between two and five years. There is no cure. Scientists at the University of Leicester and the University of Nottingham have found a promising potential avenue for treating IPF. By analyzing the DNA of thousands of patients with and without IPF, they discovered mutations on a gene, ACAP13, which they believe to be responsible for the scarring of the lungs that makes the disease so devastating. ACAP13 is now the focus of continuing research aimed at zeroing in on the gene as a drug target. The Lester and Nottingham researchers are hopeful that drugs already in development will prove to be effective in counteracting the effects of the mutated version of ACAP13 and result in something IPF patients have never had, an effective treatment. And with that treatment, hope. This research is published in the journal The Lancet Respiratory Medicine. And finally, a new study from NASA promises to greatly improve our ability to identify potentially habitable planets beyond our own solar system. A just published paper by a team from NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Studies and the Tokyo Institute of Technology's Earth Life Science Institute describes a new model that can realistically simulate atmospheric conditions on distant extrasolar planets. With a few key bits of information, including the estimated temperature of the planet's host star, the new model can predict whether conditions on the planet's surface are capable of sustaining life as we know it. The model will allow astronomers searching for habitable planets to narrow their focus to only the most promising candidates. Astronomers have estimated that our galaxy may be home to as many as 40 million Earth-sized planets orbiting within the habitable zones of their stars. Finding them may have just gotten a lot easier. This paper is published in the Astrophysical Journal. So, what have we learned today while the cat slept through the whole thing? Liquid metal helps scientists produce atomically thin oxides that could revolutionize electronics and chemistry. Researchers identify a gene linked to a debilitating and deadly lung disease. And astronomers create a new model that will help them identify habitable planets in distant star systems. That's the good news. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also please consider helping us to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron of this channel. Thanks for watching.